I'm Tom D and I want to show you how to re-encode a video using the Stream API re-encode video from Band.net. This is useful when you upload the video to the library that had specified resolutions that are lower than you expect. So first you upload video and change the resolution and then you trigger re-encode to apply that resolution. First, under your video library, go to encoding and leave only three lowest resolutions. Now upload video. Choose a video and wait once it gets uploaded. Once upload is done, you can see the video uploaded in the video section. You can also check it using API, get list of the available videos on that library and you can see that available resolutions are still those two smallest ones. Now go to encoding and select the highest resolution. If you update the API request, you will see that available resolutions won't change. It will not change until you trigger the re-encode process. To re-encode a video, duplicate the tab of the current request. It will create a new tab. Add the slash at the end and type re-encode. Now you need to put the ID of the video between videos and re-encode. Get this ID from the list of videos. The ID is there. Place it here. Change the request to POST and run it. This will produce the output. The same information, like from list of videos. Refresh the list of videos. Now you can see the encode progress is in 50%. Refresh again and showing 100%. And the new resolution is there. Save this query by providing the name, name will be, okay, collection is, is right, name will be re-encode video and get the list of videos again. Right now it's showing up to 4K resolution. To add the new resolution, go to encoding Add the new one. Now ring of video and send it again the request. Video started being encoded. You can keep on checking the status by refreshing the get list of videos and showing right now encode progress at 100%. But it's not right. Refresh again. 12% is a real value. So now you can keep on checking it, pulling the data, it will grow, it will growing and that has the progress in background. Once there is 80% of progress, new resolution is visible on the list. Verify the video, go to the player and you can view the resolutions, exactly the same resolutions that are listed in the get video API response. To get information about particular video instead of getting the list of videos, remove the re-encode at the end. Change the name to get video, save it. Oh, I forgot to switch to get, save it again. Now when you type the send, you get the information about particular video. Especially if you have a lot of videos under the library, it will be useful to check per video, not per the list of videos.